I've been a chef for 16 years. What inspires me these days is storytelling, collaborating with not only producers, but um, creators of unique food and beverage products. That, yeah, that, that have stories to be told, that have um, some unique personality, and more than that, are uniquely Australian. There is nothing more powerful than sitting in a Queensland restaurant or, or any restaurant in Australia and being served some of the world's best produce, because that's what we really have in this country. A unique opportunity to create memorable food, drink experiences with our hearts, our brains and our hands. My high school job was working at McDonald's in back of house, so flipping burgers. Uh, and what's interesting and, you know, why I guess it is relevant is that um, when my friends would come in and I was cooking my burgers, they'd always go, mate, I don't know what you did, but that burger was delicious. My father really equipped me with two bits of advice. One, if you're going to start something, make sure you see it through. And two, regardless of what you do, make sure you, you make a difference. With that in mind, I picked up my first head chef role at the age of 24, and then I've enjoyed working in Brisbane really since then. Though I did have one amazing experience in Copenhagen, which was working at the world's best restaurant at the time, a place called Noma. That really taught me how to make food more special by looking about where you live. The winemakers have a term called terroir, which is of the land. Ever since I've been able to look at food in that particular way, I believe is half the reason why we're sitting here now. I love to collaborate and work with, um, you know, not only producers, but uh, farmers and, um, and growers of, of something truly unique, delicious and special. The reason why I'm cooking the wonderful sea mullet is that it's, to me, it's an underutilised and absolutely delicious fish, particularly when we do it the way that we're doing it today, which is doing a light salt cure. We'll be curing the fish for four days and um, then shaving it uber finely. We'll also be serving the rock melon shaved very finely as well. So they just mimic and dance with each other. Uh, we then be making a little lemon myrtle dressing and be finishing it off with fennel fronds and fennel flowers as well. I'm always blown away by Australian botanicals and how well they work with uh, with beers and, uh, and beverages, you know? It's, um, we live in a very blessed, uh, sun-kissed country, don't we? You know the chef's way of opening a beer. For me, the, the beautiful flavour and the crisp flavour of Green Coast Lager has this wonderful beach-like element, which is no surprise that it's in the name. So serving a lovely seafood dish like this, um, particularly with the sweetness of the rock melon and the saltiness of the fish, the crispness of the lager and the rich malty flavour just pairs really beautifully with that and um, cleanses the palate with each sip. Yeah, I, I believe my food journey has um, really taught me something, um, you know, beautiful about life philosophy and wisdom. Uh, and it's crazy to think that all started with the little seed sown at McDonald's.